Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome to my Wealthy Lifestyle. I hope all is well with you all today. I don't know where you're watching me from, but I welcome you. I welcome you to my Wealthy Lifestyle. I'm sitting out here on the porch getting some sun and some of God's fresh air, and I got a word I want to speak to someone. This is a rhema word. This is a right now word for somebody. My son was, my oldest son was nine months. He had a pamper on. He didn't have any, uh, he didn't have a shirt on or anything. He just had a pamper on. He was nine months old and he spoke. He came out of the room. He was a great talker. He was walking, getting in everything. And he was just an independent little nine-month-old baby. But me and my mom and dad was in the living room and he came out of the back room and he said, Mama, when I grow up, I'm going to be a pro football player. My number is 42. We couldn't believe he said it. I looked at my mama, my dad, and my mama looked at me. He said it again. Mama, when I grow up, I'm going to be a pro football player, my number 42. Now, I'm going to tell you this. Prophecy can change because you can get off course. He got off course. He was supposed to be a pro football player, but he didn't stay in the will of God. He didn't stay in the will of God. If he would have stayed in the will of God, he would have been that pro football player and his number would have been 42. Prophecy is given, but you must stay in the will of the Lord to fulfill the prophecy. For instance, the Lord may give you an idea he may give, you a, may give you an idea to open up a business. And it could have been a spoken to you that the business was going to be booming. The business was going to be trending. It's going to be a great business, great business opportunity. But some kind of way you got off course. You did it your way. You didn't seek God first. When you seek God first. Other things will be added until you. But you must stay in his will. You can't do what others do. You have to do what God say do. You must do what God say do. Your prophecy can change. You can change the outcome of the prophecy. By the lifestyle that you live. If you seek God and you keep him, I mean, you stay on course and you keep him the center of your life in the, the first, the, the, the keep him first in your life. Then whatever prophecy that has spoke was spoken into your life shall manifest. But you must stay in the will of God. You must stay in the will. You can't get outside of the will. But like I was saying, a great business opportunity. If God give you a great business opportunity, you can't do it the way you think it should be done. You have to do it in the way that he ordained it to be done. You have to walk it out in his way for it to be a booming, lasting uh, elevation toward business life. You can't do it your way. You can't. If you do it your way, you're going to hit it, but you're going to miss it. But if you do it God's way, you're going to go. Everything is going to go as planned. Everything is going to fall like dominoes because you are in the wheel. And within his will, the wheel keep turning. And it never loses its motion. The wheel will continue to turn. As long as you stay in God's will, the will will continue to turn. You won't lose your, your uh, rhythm. You won't lose the flow of the rhythm. You won't you use... Uh, everything will flow. But you must stay in his will. You must ask God, what should I do, Lord God? What do I do? 
don't do it on your own because nothing will prosper you by doing it on your own. You must consult God in everything that you do. I just wanted to share this. This message is for someone. And you must, you must seek God. You must acknowledge him in all of your ways. And he will direct your path. Anything outside of that is a failure. Have a wonderful day. And until next time, thanks for watching.